for them to handle pressure to, requires an enormous amount of trust, right? So if I'm going to leave my dog out there in the ring and walk away from them and there's going to be pressure out there, and in order for my dog to stand there and feel pretty good about it, they have to trust me implicitly, right? And that trust is created by how you handle the pressure work. So you want to start when you're working on pressure work, start with the um, form of pressure that's easiest for your dog. So when I start pressure work, I always start it with barriers, walls, gates, things like that. So that's us approaching the pressure. Now here's pressure approaching the dog. You, the dog can be in a stand, the dog can be in a sit, the dog can be in a down, right? You can adapt this to whatever exercise or position you need for your dog. What we're working on here is the concept, the concept of marking and releasing early, right? Before the dog messes up. So she's yes. in a stand and the judge is walking towards her. I should say... I always start this with a person my dog knows, right? And I have them master it with a person they know before I think about adding strangers. So here I said yes. Yes to my dog allows them to move away from the pressure. And she's going to come and get the cookie. 